battery has a lot of wiring, so it takes a long time to put it in. So shove this in there. And then put these wires in. But you shouldn't have much of a problem fitting it in anymore. It fits pretty easy with the battery that I'm using, so. First semi and then full auto. This is with a 9.6 bat volt battery and it's not overly charged. And then here's full auto. Alright. Dad, I just gotta do it with the 10.8 now. Alright, now I'm gonna switch the batteries. Oh yeah. Alright, this is my 10.8 volt. It was $50 at the USA. And it's got 2000 milliamps by inlet. So, just put, fit that in there. Push that in there. <coughs> Connect the wires. I'm not even going to bother to put the butt plate on this time. I mean, it's pretty boring. So. Um, 10.8, if you're going to get it, you're probably going to need new gears pretty soon. So first, semi, now let me just tell you, the trigger response with the 10.8 is really good. And now, here's full auto, just to let you know it's not fully charged. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm done. Alright, so, I got the motor out of the gun. It's a JG high torque motor with nothing on it. Um, you know, nothing great about it. You can feel the magnets when you spin it though. Oh well. 